There's one thing I absolutely love about content creation. It's when you do a video, you export it, and you're about to upload it to YouTube, and you know what happens? You know what happens? The video is obsolete because it, you get a whole new in-depth look from the studio, the official look of the said topic. And that's what happened today with Call of Duty Vanguard Zombies. We got an awesome trailer. Absolutely loved it. I loved it much more than I did the Hazard Zone trailer. Basically, we saw more gameplay than we did cinematics, which I think is at this stage, we need to see more gameplay. And I was disappointed from Hazard Zone, but that's besides the point. That first trailer we saw was great. It was remarkable, but... Today we got an in-depth look from Treyarch Studios and Sledgehammer Games. I know that this is the first time ever in the franchise history that we are getting a co-op experience from two lead studios with a Call of Duty experience. So Zombies is being led by Treyarch with the support of Sledgehammer. And I think that is perfectly fine. I think Treyarch absolutely nails the co-op experience to any Call of Duty game. Yes, I said it. Any Call of Duty game, they lead the experience of. So, yeah, I'm excited for said experience. But, yeah, going into some of the stuff about this experience. First of all, we're getting entities, Dark Aether entities, and these guys look pretty cool. Now, there is one big bad one, and there is four ones kind of helping us through our journey. And I think that's really cool. They described it as each entity, you will feel like a unique experience. So, even though we have said operators to choose from, I know some of the complaints of Call of Duty Cold War was that these characters didn't have life to them. And it seems like the life will be brought through by these entities. And I'm curious to see if they have any dialogue. I know that they said that, you know, the entities are a, symbi a, sy a symbiotic relation, kind of like Venom and uh, eddie brock if you guys seen the movie you guys see the comics you kind of see how that goes something like that now they don't possess them however they only influence them so i'm curious to see if these entities have any dialogue with our characters which would be great to hear gives those characters some life and i gotta say this whole concept is like a mesh of doom and call of duty zombies and i absolutely love that doom is one of my favorite franchises favorite titles favorite shooters to play it's an absolute blast it's absolute fun and i just i love it so seeing this type of stuff, it's great. Now, there was a little bit of concern from the reveal trailer about the maps. Are these just multiplayer maps and this is what we're gonna get? Yes, it seems like the first experience, which is called Deer Arong, which sounds pretty cool, is gonna be a hybrid of some maps we know of, but one of the best maps we've ever played in Zombies history, Shina Numa, is coming back. Now, to the capacity it's coming back in, we don't know how large it's gonna be, but again, some portion of the map is guaranteed to come back. And I'm really excited for that. That's kind of the first experience we had with these, with what zombies could be. And it was great. I love it. Their song is great. I know one of my friends, he's going to absolutely bug out when he sees the fact that Sheena Numa is coming back. And I think that's just phenomenal. I think it's great. That's probably his all time personal favorite map. Not mine. I love Die Rise. Yeah, I know one of the maps, but I love that map in Black Ops 2. But I digress. Let's get back into some stuff about zombies. So. This is also on the Modern Warfare 2019 engine, and honestly, Zombies looks absolutely remarkable. This engine, I know you guys might not, not might not like Modern Warfare 2019 or how Vanguard feels, but again, aesthetically, these this engine really performs and is probably better than the Frostbite engine. I didn't think a Call of Duty engine could be better than the Frostbite engine, but I'll go on a limb and say the IW8 engine, it's better than the Frostbite, and this is another reason why. It's just showcasing a phenomenal co-op experience, and I cannot wait. Now, if you guys play Black Ops Cold War, this is going to be a very similar experience. While there is round-based modes or a round-based experience with zombies, there is an objective to be had or objective to complete in that experience. So, let's say you're just trying to go for high rounds while well, there's objectives that you can do like a uh, trans transport a zombie head or collect bounties i guess you could say from these zombies or go on an offensive and start aggressively killing zombies stuff like that there's different ways or different objectives within that thing to do it also there's also an objective i'm pretty sure there's probably gonna be some extraction method or some way to win the game but uh, yeah, all that's coming back, and I think that's great. I did enjoy Black Ops Cobra Zombies a lot, and it was fun. So seeing some of that stuff come back and more stuff added is also cool. But in general, guys, this zombie story looks pretty remarkable. It looks pretty awesome. The narrative should be pretty cool. Treyarch's been nailing the story of zombies ever since they really focused in on it. And I'm just excited for this. This is going to be a great addition for Call of Duty Vanguard. And honestly, guys, it's, I can't believe I'm saying this. Besides Warzone integration, because Warzone, I think, should be treated at this point as its own experience because it's a Battle Royale title. And it's kind of just built on the foundations of Modern Warfare 2019. So it's kind of still Modern Warfare 2019, I guess like you could say. Uh, Zombies from the launch of Vanguard seems to be my most exciting, most anticipated part of the game I'm looking forward to. 
And uh, yeah, I cannot wait to cover some of this stuff. But with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative, definitely drop this video a like. And if you guys are new here and want more content from me, whether it's Call of Duty or any other game you see me cover on the channel, definitely hit that subscribe button. Today, we're going to be dropping a lot of videos. Uh, this is the second of three videos. And uh, I had a video coming out now about Hazard Zone or came out before. So annotation here on screen if you guys want to check that out. We're going to detail and there's probably going to be end screen of the end of the video. But yeah, with that being said, guys, all I got for this one. Shannon G here and I'm out.